Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to your YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss operators in quantum mechanics. Let's begin. An operator is a mathematical rule or a procedure which operating on one function transforms it into another function. Let A, this is the notation of that of operator, A is an operator act on the function f of x now that function is transformed that operator transformed transformed it into another function let another function be gx and that can be written like this a operator when operates over that function f of x it gives rise to a new function that is g of x That means, this is the method to represent, here is the operator that one be the function, this one that leads to what operator act over a function gives rise to another function. Now, here f of x is called, here f of x is called an operand, an operand. That means, an operator is acted upon that function f of x and that is known as an operand. Some examples of that operators, let some examples I prefer, some examples, example number i, let uh, a operator a cap operates on x to the power m, it gives rise to x to the power 2 m, means that operator a operator is known as the squaring operator is a squaring operator, squaring operator. When it acts upon that function, it squares that particular function. Again another example, let uh, operator operates on a function x to the power n, it gives rise to n x to the power n minus 1. Then we can say that operator a cap is the differential operator, is the differential operator that is d by dx. That means an operator is a mathematical rule or procedure which operating on one function transformed it into another function transformed to a new function that is the operator. Now, we discuss about what is uh, linear operator. The operator which obey the linear conditions is known as the linear operator. What are the linear conditions? That means when 
that operator act upon some constant multiplied with a particular function and it gives rise to that constant to outside and that operator operates on that function where lambda is constant and again when that operator operates over that function f1 x plus f2 x that gives rise to a cap of f1 x plus a cap of f2 x that operator operates that and again that operates that function gives rise to the same result this is known as the distributive law that one be the distributive law that means that operator is said to be linear operator when it obey these two conditions now taking an example let me prefer example as we saw that the squaring operator let i prefer the squaring operator squaring operator is uh, not linear how i can show it let uh, a cap be the squaring operator if a cap be the squaring operator squaring operator then we can write as a cap acted upon that function it gives rise to f square of x or we can write here when a cap f1 x plus f2 x that gives rise to a cap f1 x plus a cap f2 x that means that is f1 x plus f2 x whole square actually that whole square is not equal to the whole square of that of the square of that individual functions f1 square x plus f2 square x so since it does not obey that distributive law or these two conditions then we can say that squaring operator so that so that the squaring operator the squaring operator is not linear again another example let example number 2 again so that the square root operator square root operator square root operator is not linear we can prove it in that of similar pattern uh, if we consider a operator b cap b the square root operator square root operator then we operate that square root operator over a function f of x that gives rise to square root of that of function but actually or we can say when that operator operates on f1 of x plus f2 of x that means b cap of f1 x plus b cap of f2 x that will be the square root of f1 x plus f2 x square root is not equal to the individual square root f1 x square root plus f2 x square root so we can say here so that so that so that 
that operator that operator means the square root operator is uh, not linear the square root operator is not linear that is the basics towards linear operator now we discuss uh, different kinds of operators Uh, different kinds of operators, null operators, some examples of that of operator, one is null operator. The operator which operate uh, and the operand reduced it to 0, that is called that of null operator. When that operator operates over that of operand f of x gives rise to 0, the result is 0, then we can say that operator a cap is null operator. Another type of operator unit or identity operator, the operator which operate on the function unable to change it is known as a unity or identity operator. That means the value of that function is not changed. That is we can say when that operator operates over a function gives rise to the same function that means there will be no such change of that function then that operator is known as i cap that means that is the unity operator that is the unity operator unable to change it is known as the unity operator then inverse operator the operator which operate in the function return to original function is known as inverse operator that uh, that is when a operator operates over a function let give size to g x and again a function a operator operates on that of uh, g x gives rise to f of x that means we can say the result will be then we say b cap is the inverse of that a cap is called the inverse operator therefore b cap the operator b is the <coughs> inverse operator of a b cap is the inverse operator of a that is the inverse operator and then singular and non singular operator what is singular and non singular operator let we consider two operators a and b two operators a and b when a b operates gives rise to i the unit operator that means also b operates on a gives rise to the unit operator where i i be the unity operator or identity operator and uh, a operator the inverse of a operator gives rise to b and the inverse of b operator gives rise to a operator the condition is if if the reciprocal of an operator exists the reciprocal of an operator exists then it is called non singular operator non singular operator Again, if the reciprocal of an operator, if the reciprocal of an operator does not exist, does not exist, then uh, it is called non sorry it is called singular operator it is called singular operator 
means this one is the non singular operator what is that of singular operator if that a cap operates on that of function f of x gives rise to 0 where f of x is not 0, but uh, when b cap another operator over that function of g x gives rise to that particular function f of x then then we can say b cap is a singular operator is called the singular operator because why it is called the singular operator because no reciprocal of b cap no reciprocal of b cap exist this is for that of singular operator that is for non singular operator that one for that of singular operator another uh, operators exist like hermitian operator uh, argent uh, of uh, an operator unitary operator and parity operators but these operators are studied in a descriptive manner throughout the upcoming classes. So, with the help of this video lecture, we understand some operators in quantum mechanics. <coughs> what is operator? What is operand? And how we write it mathematically? And the concept uh, towards the linear operator and to show the squaring operator and uh, the square root operator is not linear taking care to that of the conditions for linear operator then uh, different kinds of operators uh, like non operator sorry null operator unity or identity operator inverse operator singular and non singular operator and various kinds of uh, operators are further like hermitian operator Arsenal of an operator, unitary operator, parity of operators. These are all about towards various kinds of operators in quantum mechanics. So, with this useful uninfinity notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.